yeah, you tweeted about that this is one of the most challenging things you've ever dealt with and like felt like eternity for you being away. Mm -hmm. What's it like to finally get back out there? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I eight weeks, long eight weeks, you know, just uh, coming out here every day, just putting my head down and really just trying to get back and get back to, uh, you know, being on the field and being able to contribute, you know, with the guys that I started with. And so that's just been my main goal. You know, this entire process is just uh, doing everything I can to just get back with them. Imagine that was really, really hard though. Absolutely. You know, I had some highs, had some lows. Uh, luckily I had Scotty there with me to kind of help me through everything. But, um, you know, it was definitely difficult, definitely tough, but um, if it was easy in life, you wouldn't really want it, you know, so. No, I've actually, uh, I've never really, uh, you know, dislocated, really broke a major bone like that or something like that. Um, I've actually never sat out of a game ever in my life for an injury. So, you know, it was just, I didn't really feel it at first. Uh, when they tried to put it back in, it was kind of, kind of achy, you know? Um, and then when I got in the locker room, it was obviously so achy. I don't really remember too much, uh, if I'm being honest, but um, definitely sore next couple next couple of weeks, next couple of uh, days after. How, how is your range of motion and um, with your sleeve? Is yeah. there a restriction on that at all or? Uh, um, with my sleeve, no. Yeah. Um, my range of motion is obviously, it's, it's, it's where it needs to be, um, but it can get better, obviously, throughout um, throughout the process. I'm still, you know, rehabbing it and still doing things like that. Um, but for the most part, it's it's pretty good. So pretty how, how does it feel out there, and, and, and what do you need to see before you're you're kind of ready to test it in the game? Oh uh, man, um, I think you know, just throughout the practice, throughout the reps, and just getting getting my hands on guys and uh, being able to wrap up and some of the plays, some of the tackles, um, and just showing those uh, coaches the confidence that I have in it, and showing them that they can have the same amount of confidence that I have in it. Uh, as well, and so um, you know, when my number's called, I'll be I'll be ready. You weren't the only guy to get hurt in the secondary. Yeah. Kind of was been like to kind of watch the way come Yeah, I think uh, you know I think every guy that we've had in our room has stepped up and has done everything that we've asked of them to do each and every week, uh, each and every day, whether it's uh, D. Delaney, Pierre. Uh, like you said, Richard Sherman, um, Ross, you know, guys just stepping up and, and being accountable and being, uh, you know, kind of that next man up and not having a, a, a lack in performance um, from each each and, and every one of the guys. And so I think everybody's done a really good job of that. And I think it's only going to continue to grow, you know, once we get everybody back and, and healthy and ready to ride. I know you said a lot of time studying. It's, it's a big aspect of your game. Mm. What's it been like having a guy like Richard Sherman stepping in there who's just got a wealth of knowledge and experience? Experience at that position. Yeah. He's an outside guy, right. So. Right. You know, throughout the eight, you know, throughout the time that I was really out, um, I got to look at football in a different light. You know, I was out at the practices, but I wasn't a player. I had a mindset of a coach, and I was trying to make sure that guys knew what they were doing, and uh, you know, just picking guys' brains like Sherman and just seeing what he would do in certain situations. So, um, you know, it just it put me in a different perspective. It allowed me to see football for what football is, and um, I got to see every aspect of it. You know. Um, and I was honestly, you know, it was a blessing in disguise because I've never really got a chance to sit down and and um, kind of diagnose football. You know, um, it was it was really a, a game changer for me, and it kind of made me look at things a lot differently and, and the way I attack each and every day a lot differently now. Differently in that what you see, like the bigger picture, Absol you, absolutely versus just your specific role. Absolutely that, and um, just knowing the value and appreciation of of the sport itself. You know, just not being around it for so long, you get so deprived and. Uh, you don't really know what to do. You know, I was bored every day, you know, not really knowing what to do on my off time because I couldn't really do too much, you know, outside of watching film and outside of helping guys do what they do. Um, but, you know, now I'm back in the swing of things and I feel, you know, pretty good about it. Following along on Twitter, it seemed like you were pretty active on game day. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you sort of use as like an outlet or a way to like distract yourself or yeah. evolve still? Yeah, it was, it was weird. Uh, I never, like I said, I, I never really missed I've never missed a sporting game of my own. So I've never watched my own team play from home. So it was it was really weird. Cause I see things that they don't necessarily know like that you can see, like, I don't know, it's weird, but it's, it's fun. It keeps me in the game. Um, I do my yelling just like every other fan would. So I yell at players, I yell at everything. I still do that, but I'll send them a video directly to them. But it's fun. Like I, I look at it in a different aspect of it. and. Uh, 
It was very enjoyable. It was very enjoyable. Were you able to like at halftime like send in like the videos that you're talking about? Or, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, you know, I would talk to guys after the games. Obviously, I don't know the rules and all that that goes on to sending guys text messages. I don't even know if they check their phones because I know I don't check mine. But, um, you know, it was like I said, it was cool. I got to see it from a different light. I got to see, you know, what the commentators are saying, what guys are saying, because, you know, they give a lot of tips away as far as the other team goes um, when they're playing. So, you know, I just got to pick up on a lot of little things. And, you know, obviously, when I see them after the game, when I talk to them after the game, I let them know. Mm -hmm. uh, perform. I, pref I expect my guys to, you know, show up and perform. Um, like you said, Washington does have a lot of talent. Um, you know, McLaren's a, a really good receiver, and they got a, um, a, a newer guy, a rookie, correct? That's that's pretty good. Um, but, you know, like I said, I mean, we, I just expect our guys to go out there and perform and, and do what we do. Same thing that we've been doing each and every week, rise to the occasion. Yeah, um, you know, not having film on a guy, you never really know what to expect. Um, but for him, you know, he was a, a, a dark horse. You know, he showed up and he, he performed. You know, he could run, he could throw. Uh, he could do everything, but he trusts himself, and the guys trust him. And, you know, that trust goes a long way. Um, and I know that, you know, he's obviously out for out for us this year. He he really wants that win. So, um, you know, just going at it and just getting ready to prepare for him and prepare for his legs and his runs and his passes and everything that he has to offer.